typically you put things into a mix, send the mix into the matrix, right? But you can't send a mix into another mix. And what if I need to do a clean feed? What if I need a group delayed and another group not delayed? Meaning, here's a good example. I need to sync test for a stream or a broadcast, but we don't want that same group delayed in our live setting. That would just throw everything off, right? Remember to like and subscribe. Cool. How's it going everybody? This is Jay with Kinetic and what I wanted to show you guys today was a digital return on a channel. So typically we can return with, on a channel by sending something into a group, sending that out of an Omni and then returning it to a channel. On the CLQL line, there's delay only on inputs and outputs. There's no mix delay or bus delay, anything like that. So we have to figure out ways to do that. Here's how I do it. So. I like to start most of my examples with a signal flow diagram. It's just how my brain works and I find it easier to graphically demonstrate what I'm doing. In today's example, I'm taking my input channels and I'm sending those into a mix or a matrix. I guess you could use the uh, stereo or mono bus too. Anything that has a internal Dante output patch. And I'm taking that internal Dante uh, transmit pathway from the CLRQL I'm using and I'm patching that to its own internal Dante channel. So instead of an, the output of this Dante device to the output of another Dante device, it's the Dante output of this device and it's returning on a channel on the same device. That way I'm taking a group and doing a return on a channel uh, internally, digitally, rather than the old school way of doing it, which is sending it out via analog into a rack and then returning from that rack to a channel. Uh, I have all of my microphones. These are similar mics. You guys can do a mic send into a group for based on the mic type. That's common. Handhelds, labs, etc. In this example, I'm just sending all of my mics into one group, calling this mic send. This is exiting via Dante, but it's returning via Dante within itself. There's no other Dante device devices connected. And I'm patching it to itself. And I can show you guys in Dante controller too. It's pretty cool. Surprised how, how many people I haven't seen do this yet. So let me screen capture, control shift five, record. So if we bounce over to the screen, you guys can see as the transmitter, I have my Yamaha QL5, and then the receiver is also the QL5, and I have patched 64 to 64. Easy, right? This is returning onto a channel, and that entire mic group now returns onto, uh, I'm using channel 64, use any channel you want, but it's kind of cool. In the patch menu, it actually says this, so you're seeing it as this. And I have my mic return here, and I can send this channel to whatever mixes I need, whatever matrixes I need. Typically you put things into a mix, send the mix into the matrix, right? But you can't send a mix into another mix. And what if I need to do a clean feed? What if I need a group delayed and another group not delayed? Meaning, here's a good example. I need to sync test for a stream or a broadcast, but we don't want that same group delayed in our live setting. That would just throw everything off, right? So in the return, I can delay one of them, route that to its various destinations, keep the other one undelayed, route that to its other destinations. Another good bonus of that is we have more insert points. So on that return, I get two more inserts. So you can do what you want with that, but I'm doing that all internally, all via the same Dante chip on the QL or CL, not using any cables at all to do that returning on the channel. So I hope it's helpful for you. It's very helpful to me and have a great day. Remember to like and subscribe.